He managed to survive by pretending he was dead when an Arab terrorist broke into his family's home, slaughtering his mother and three of his brothers. But ever since then, Asael Shabo has exemplified what it means to live life to its full extent. If you want to get inspired, just continue watching. First thing that I did after I lost my leg and I lost half of my family was to jump into the pool. And then I started to play wheelchair basketball. I played professional basketball in Hamburg, Germany. That was one of my biggest uh, achievements in, in the sport. I think by today I have around 70 or 80 medals uh, that I got from swimming and basketball. And I also have a few trophies. I was with my three siblings that died in the same room. And if I survived, then I should always keep forward because otherwise if I stay in the same spot and I don't move forward and I don't push myself to the next uh, phase, then there is no reason that I stayed alive. Uh, so I lost three quarters of my leg. I'm very happy to have this uh, this leg, and I don't need crutches anymore. I don't need a wheelchair. And... So that's my uh, mom's little corner. Uh, her name was Rachel, was Rachel, um, and that's a saying from the Bible. Rachel by Matzon El which means Rachel came with the, the goats and sheep to her father. Matzon in Hebrew means. The first, uh, first letter of each name of my brothers who died, Zvika, Avishai, Neria, and Rachel is my mom. So it's basically written in the Bible that she came with my brothers to her father, which means God. So that's, that's her garden. A lot of people ask me, like, why did you decide to stay and live here in Samaria? You see, my sister lives in a, a street across here. And I think for me, there is no other place. I'm, I'm an athlete. I hate to lose. If we want to win and move forward, then it's to say, although we lost our half of our family, we are here and we raise our kids and the next generation right here because that's the way to move forward and to show those terrorists and those Palestinians who decided to choose the other way, that's not going to help you. I think my goal in my life is I'm not trying to focus on the history, I'm try trying to focus on the present and on the future. How are the grapes? Sour. Life is sour sometimes. <laughs> Life is sour sometimes. Uh, but sometimes you want to get to the, to the sweet moment. And in this case, <coughs> not so much. I'm good. <coughs> <laughs> Always tell yourself to do your maximum. Because even if you failed, even if you fell down, even if something happened to you, you always can tell yourself, honestly, I made 100% of myself. And if it didn't work, then it didn't work, and that, so it probably wouldn't meant to be. That's what I have right now, that's where I'm at right now, and I'm gonna do my maximum to the next step. Thank you for watching.